Hi, I'm John from Chatomize and in this video I will show you how you can create an abandoned product browse reminder for your Shopify webshop in Facebook Messenger. And to do this we are going to use ManyChat. So how abandoned product browse generally works is when somebody looks on your product page and then goes away from your website without adding something to their card you can automatically send them a reminder. But before we're actually going to build the flow, I will first tell you about the chatbot strategy that we're going to use. Because if we want to send an abandoned browse reminder to someone, we first need them to opt into our messenger chatbot. So in order to do that, we will show them a pop-up on our website with a 10% discount. And when they click on that pop-up, they will directly go to our Facebook messenger chatbot where they will get the 10% discount. And then when they browse your website and they don't add anything to their card, we can automatically send them a reminder with our Messenger chatbot. So as you can see, I created a really simple Shopify webshop with one product in it for this tutorial. And to create our campaign, we need to connect this Shopify webshop to ManyChat and if you haven't used ManyChat before just go to the link in the description and create your own ManyChat account Which is free up to a thousand users But if you want to use the Shopify integration with ManyChat you need to go with the pro plan and this will cost you $15 for the first 500 users per month. So let's go to ManyChat then go to settings then scroll down until you see integrations and then here you have the Shopify integration. So then we need to fill in the domain. So you can go to your Shopify store. You can just copy this domain without the HTTPS. So I copy this, I'm going to paste it here and then I click on connect Shopify account. Then it automatically goes to Shopify and you can just scroll down and click on install unlisted app. So when you have done this, a pop-up automatically appears that asks if you want to install the pre-built templates. And we want to do this because this will save us a lot of time. So you can just click on get my templates and then we have three templates. So we're going to start with the Shopify add to cart pop-up for opt-in. So you can just click on this and then choose for edit flow. And here we need to change Two things. So now this pop-up opens up when someone adds something to their card. But we wanted to open up before they add something to their card after a few seconds. And also we need to change the text inside this flow. So let's start with changing the pop-up. So you can just click on messenger model, click on it again, and then click on show preview. And here you can see the preview of your pop-up. And we want to change the title and we want to change the text and the button. So we pretty much want to change everything. So we will first start with the title and we set it to, do you want 10% discount on your first order? So that's the first thing. And then we will change the text to click the button below to get 10% discount on your first order. Then if we scroll down, then here we can set the button text to receive this in Messenger. And I generally recommend to set this to this button text so people know that they are going to Facebook Messenger instead of staying on your website. So then on the left hand side, you can set all different settings. So you can change the button type, you can change the colors, you can change the background of the button, the button size. And I will just leave this as is, but just know that you can change all those settings. Then we need to select when does this pop-up display. So now it displays when somebody clicks on the add to cart button. But I generally doesn't recommend to do this because you need to give them a reason to add something to their cart. So you need to show it before they added something to their cart. So you can just select the seconds have passed. And I generally recommend to set it to 30 seconds, but because we need to test it out, I will set it to five seconds and we want to show the widget to the same contact again after several hours or days. I generally recommend to never do this. When somebody has already seen this pop up and didn't click on the button, you want to set it to never. 
and also if the pop-up is closed by a contact I also would never show this pop-up again but we need to test it out right now so now we'll set it to always but in general I would set it to never then you can just click on next and then you will see the submitted state and the submitted state is when somebody clicked on the button the pop-up can change so you can change the headline and you can change the text and I also will leave this as is but just know that you can change it then we can click on next and here we can select on which pages we want to show the pop-up so we can hide it on specific pages and we can show it on specific pages and for this tutorial I only want to show it on one specific product page so when I go to my store I just click on this product page and I just copy this URL and paste it here and I also want to show it on mobile and desktop but you could also only show it on desktop or only show it on mobile and then you can just click on save so now that we have created the pop-up we need to send a message that will take the user back to our website so if we go back then we have the message that is automatically sent when somebody opts in on our pop-up so we will set the content type to other and we will just remove this and then we will say hey first name click on the button below to get your 10% discount then we can add a nice icon and then we can say this coupon is automatically added to your shopping cart so you don't have to do anything and then we can add another icon so how can we do this we can do this by first creating our coupon so you can just click on these percentages and then we can select a coupon campaign so I will just create a new one and we will make it a static coupon and I will call it coupon 10 and I will also copy this and then we can click on next and then here we will fill in the discount value which is 10 the discount type is a percentage and the static coupon is coupon 10 and then we can click on create campaign so what we then do is we delete this from the text message and we're going to add a button so the first thing that we're going to do is add a nice icon and then we're going to say shop with 10% off and then we need to set it to open website and then we need to fill in our URL so what we need to do is go back to our store then we need to copy this URL so without the products and without the t-shirt so we'll copy this then we'll paste it here and then you need to say slash discount slash coupon 10 which is the name of our discount code and the reason why you want to do this is when somebody clicks on this button automatically the coupon code is added to their card so they don't have to manually fill in that discount code again so this is really useful and which will improve the conversion of your web shop so then I will just click on done I will remove the other messages that are automatically added so I will delete those and then we can click on publish and that should be working so if we go to the store to my t-shirt and I will just refresh the page then we need to wait five seconds and then in five seconds the pop-up is shown as you can see so then we will click on receive this in messenger and then click on view it in messenger and then messenger automatically opens and it says hey Joran click on the button below to get your 10% discount so we'll click on shop with 10% off and then if we go to our catalog go to the products click on the add to card I will click on view card so we'll just go to the checkout page to show you that the coupon code is automatically added so we'll go to the checkout as you can see the discount is automatically added to our checkout so your user doesn't even need to fill in the discount code 
themselves. So this is working. When someone comes to your product page, a pop-up will automatically shows up that will ask for a 10% discount. And when the user clicks on that pop-up, they will go to Facebook Messenger and they will get their 10% discount. So now we need to create the second part, sending an abandoned product browse reminder in Messenger. So let's go back to our flows in ManyChat. We click on flows, choose for the Shopify embedded cart folder, which came with the templates that we installed, and then click on new flow. Then it automatically pops up with start with quick campaigns. Then you can just click on this cross here, and then we will call this Shopify abandoned browse reminder so first we'll add the trigger to our flow so we can just click on add trigger then choose for Shopify and then choose the abandoned product browse then we will set the trigger to all products and we can send the reminder after one hour but because we need to test it out we're going to set it to 30 minutes which is the bare minimum for the abandoned product browse so then we'll click on save and the first message will be a message in messenger not in Instagram so we'll delete this will be a messenger and the content type will be other and the first thing that we're going to send is an image so the image will be the product image that someone browsed so we can click on insert URL and then we can click on this icon and then search for product and then you will see that we can select two kind of products so let's say someone came to your website looked at multiple products then we can show the first few product image or the most expensive viewed product image and in general I will go with the most expensive few product image because the margin on those products is generally higher which makes it more interesting to sell those products so you can just select this one which will show the most expensive viewed product image. And then we can insert the text with, hey, and then we're going to insert the first name. You recently looked at, and then we're going to insert the most expensive viewed product title. So you recently looked at, for example, the t-shirt, in our store but it seems you haven't have the time to place an order yet if you are still interested in most expensive title just click the button below and then we can add a nice icon and then we're going to add the button so the button will be go to products and we can also add a nice icon here and will be open website and again we will search for products and it will be the most expensive few product URL and then click on done and also what we could add to this copy is PS don't forget to use your coupon coupon 10 so they can add that to their checkout so then we can click on publish and that should be working so before I go to my store I first need to activate the abandoned product browser so you can just click on it and then activate it and that's it so when I go to my store you will see that I have something in my card and as I've told before, the abandoned product browse only works when someone doesn't add anything to their cards. So if we want to test it out, we need to remove our cookies. So in Chrome, you just go to settings, then you search for cookies. They can click on cookies and other site data. Then you scroll down until you see, see all cookies and site data. And then you just search for Shopify and then you remove everything and then when you reload this page you will see that nothing is in my cart so then when we go to the catalog I will go to the t-shirt then I will wait five seconds so that the pop-up appears then the pop-up appears we say receive this in messenger then we go to messenger 
And hey, Joran, click on the button below to get your 10% discount. So we click on this button and that's it. And what we do now is that we go away from the website. So we abandon the browsing and then in 30 minutes, ManyChat should automatically send us the abandoned product browse message. And as you can see, after 30 minutes, it automatically sends the product image and the text message that we set up with the button. And if we click on go to product, it automatically goes to the right product in our Shopify store. So that is how you create a Shopify abandoned browse reminder in Facebook Messenger, which are many chat chatbot and another thing that you could do is add a second reminder but in general i do not recommend to do this because your audience could see this as being too pushy also it could be the case that ManyChat is not sending the reminder and if that's the case with your chatbot you just need to go to settings then choose for messenger and then scroll down and click on refresh permissions and when you click on refresh permissions it will probably solve your problem but that was it if you have any questions about using ManyChat and Shopify together please let me know in the comments and I will reply as soon as possible if you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing please subscribe to my channel and if you haven't done this yet also click the like button below